Engineer 775, having fun in Tennessee this morning. I think the polar vortex has hit early here. It is snowing. It was 23 degrees. I think it's 24 now. Awesome. And we're going to be putting in a Grunfoss submersible pump. We've got a lot of work to do. So, but it's a good thing. It's cold. It's going to keep us moving. And we're going to get this, uh, we're doing a SQ Flex submersible pump. And that baby there. And we're going to set it around 360 feet into the well. We're going to be installing a pitless adapter in the well. So that's the code here. And we've got some different uh, SDR 11 pipe with the uh, fused joints and a little different than PEX. Uh, a little different fittings on this SDR. Now, this is SDR 15, isn't it? Anyway, thankful that they trenched and I didn't have to do this part of the job. So, anyway, we're here in Tennessee, and if I don't get moving, I'm going to freeze. So, anyway, beautiful morning. Let's get going. Hey, I'm um, showing you my latest, greatest, uh, it's called the, I don't know if you can see that, it's a Sunseeker app, I love this thing, um, anyway, it's telling me, uh, worst case scenario, the yellow line is um, our time right now in November, and I don't know if you can, man, I hope you can see that, oh, there it goes, yellow, and the blue is the uh, um, December 21st, so this site is just phenomenal, um, you can see the green is the horizon. We've got a wonderful solar window here for this job. So real excited about that. They will have no issues using solar here on this site. Okay. Okay, we've added our pitless adapter to the, the well casing. And if you don't know what a pitless adapter is, it is a bronze no lid adapter that the pump will actually hang on and then the water will exit out through that uh, one inch ID uh, fitting. Uh, I just put that white PVC in there to keep the dirt out of the threads so we're actually going to transition over like I said to the SDR 15 I think. So anyway um, that is pitless adapter so we're making some progress here we're rolling out our our wire which is way down there and uh, excellent very good okay and then we've got our solar we're using the Grunfoss IO 101 uh, generator control and that's basically a little transfer switch and we'll have the pump wires solar grounding and a power cord for the generator and then we have a disconnect to turn the overall the solar power off and we'll connect in between the two. So that's that's kind of it. Nice little four panel in series array. Gonna pump water up um, 240 feet static plus 100. We're gonna do about 350 with this. 5.5 gallons a minute at 350 foot of elevation and we're pumping probably 1200 feet away to some two elevated tanks. So, here we go. Okay, this is what we were waiting for. We're uh, 350 foot depth pumping towards the end of the day. We've got a little bit of sun left to do some testing. Rotated the panels over to get that sun. But we are pumping. Now it's time to go plumb to the tanks. And uh, get her done. Okay, I'm not going to let this run long. This is just using a little inverter generator. And there's the, the water at the front cost. It's making plenty of water. So if you don't have your solar panel, I'm going to shut that off right now. Sorry for the shaky video.
is it for the Don Crossing stall. 350 foot lift, running the inverter generator when the sun goes down. But this thing will pump plenty of water. Perfect solar site. Awesome. Alright, this is engineer 775 going off into the sunset.